The Effects Browser is our shortcut to be able to explore the over 4,000 presets that we have available to us in the Continuum package. But it's more than just a way of looking at presets. So join me as we take a look at the Effects Browser. So it's time to take a look at the Effects Browser in Boris Continuum within DaVinci Resolve. Now, the Effects Browser is a very powerful tool for looking at the presets that are built in to all of the effects. Now, the presets can either be used as a good starting off point or just as inspiration for what can be done. So I've applied the BCC video glitch filter. I'll go to the Open Effects tab, and there it is. And I'm going to click on the Effects Browser. And now this will open up the Effects Browser workspace. And as I play this through, it will cache our clip in. And once the clip is cached through, I can now go and check out all of the other different presets. And because it's cached the video clip in, all of these are going to be quite fast to preview. Some of them may be a little bit stuttery the first time round, but obviously as that caches in again, we'll get a good idea of how the effect is looking. So we can easily find the one that we're looking for now with our particular shot. Uh, maybe I'll have, actually let's do the unstable signal. Now there are huge advantages for looking at the presets in the effects browser. The main one is speed. Because of the way that it caches in, it's obviously a lot faster to preview within the effects browser than to let Resolve do the caching in the main edit page. We could also come up into the viewer if we want something a bit faster and change our proxy from full down to half, quarter, eighth, or sixteenth. So we really get a very fast preview, but maybe not the best idea for any sort of effects with fine detail in them. We also have a simple version of the compare tool so we can see these side by side. So bring that through so we can see a before and after of our clip. Or we can compare these as a split and we can change how big the split is just with the on screen display here. Once we're happy with this, I'll hit apply and that will apply it to our main clip and obviously customize the preset if I want to as well. So I could add in something like block damage and change up my parameters as I need to. Obviously, when we work with presets, everything is still 100% customizable afterwards. Now, the effects browser is so important that there's actually an effect called BCC effects browser. If I apply this to my other clip here, and if I open up the effects browser on this one, we don't just get the presets for one particular filter, we get the presets for every filter that we have available in BCC. So this is really useful if we're looking for any sort of inspiration, for example. You know, maybe we want to, uh, to use one of the film processes or check out maybe how the two strip color is going to work on this particular shot and decide what we like there. Now, as with every time we come into the effects browser, we also have a history so we can see the last few presets that we've clicked on. So if you're just clicking randomly and you just go, OK, that's something quite nice. Uh, but we'll see what some of the other ones are looking like. You go, actually, no, I want to go back to the one that I was looking at previously. We can easily come over and find the one that we're interested in. Now, note that down in the bottom right hand corner, we only have a close. We don't have apply. When we're working with the effects browser filter, this is really just literally browsing all of the effects. We need to remember which effect we were working on and apply that separately. So here I can now trash the effects browser filter. Come to my BCC two strip color. Open up the effects browser on this one. And remember that the effect that I liked was called Iceman DD. Click apply on that and maybe mix back the original. And as we play that back, we can see the final effect. So the effects browser really is the best and fastest way of checking out which presets are available and are suitable for a particular clip on all of the BCC continuum filters. If you found this video useful, then remember to hit the like button. For more ways to master Boris Continuum and Resolve, subscribe to the Boris Effect YouTube channel and check out a range of our other training. If I've missed anything, then please let me know in the comments below. My name is Ben Brownlee from Boris Effects. Thanks for watching.